goes Noddy in his little car looking for a passenger. I started taking fluoxetine pills about a week ago, guys, some antidepressants. I haven't noticed any effects yet, but I think fluoxetine sounds like something out of a Star Trek episode. <laughs> Get that fluoxetine off my bridge! Speaking of which, actually, do you know that there's a video on YouTube of Patrick Stewart actually smoking weed? Seeing as we're on the topic of uh, drugs and Star Trek. Hot buttons are the best. <laughs> so, a little while ago, I started throwing notes around on my computer, and um, within like 10 minutes, I had this chord structure going. I kind of like it. I think my next step is maybe to come up with a chorus and maybe put some vocals in there somehow. I'm also working on this kind of mellow disco track and uh, I'm listening to a lot of stuff on Spotify to get ideas. I've also been working on this um, really slow building track using the Alicia Keys piano library from Made of Instruments. Really, really nice sounding piano. And um, it's very Robert Miles inspired. God, I've got no patience for people who park in reverse. They clearly have no problem wasting everyone's time, especially in a parking lot at a shopping mall. You do not need to park in reverse, I'm sorry. It takes five times the amount of time. What are you doing? Really nice day out as usual. Beautiful weather here in South Perth, West Australia. Glorious. I love this part of the world, I really do. It's very sleepy. It does kind of drag you down. If you're gonna live in Perth and you wanna be a dreamer, you wanna be a doer, you wanna be active, you wanna be aspiring and all that, um, you have to make sure you travel regularly because Perth is uh, very, very sleepy, very sleepy. And we have what's called tall poppy syndrome here, which is a social phenomenon in which um, achievement is not uh, uh, an invitation for celebration or congratulations. Achievement in, in Perth, West Australia is actually more often met with ridicule and indifference. People are like, oh yeah, you got 12 million views on your YouTube video. That's interesting. Uh, it's actually one of the things I like about Australia. Everyone gets a fair go, everyone gets a fair say. No one's head rises too much higher than the rest. Oh, that's better. Mmm. I was watching this interview with Jordan Peterson the other day on Channel 4 in the UK, and the woman interviewing him is insufferable. She will not stop cramming words into his mouth. Tumblr is primarily female. But you're just saying that's the way it is. 
I'm not saying anything. It's just an observation that that's the way it is. You're saying you've done your research and women are unhappy dominating men. I didn't say they were unhappy dominating men. I you, said it was a bad long-term solution. But you're saying that makes them unhappy. Emotion. You're saying that women aren't intelligent enough to run these top companies? No. That's what you're really it saying. It depends on your measurement techniques. You're saying, well, that's just a fact of not life. Women aren't necessarily matter. going to get to the top. <laughs> no, I'm not saying that at all. I think she's very obviously been coached to put him into a corner. You know, make him sound like a misogynist, try to make him sound a bit chauvinistic, a bit sexist. When all the while, he's, he, he's just a clinical psychologist who's looked at the facts and the trends. <laughs> She's so emblematic to me of the establishment and of mainstream news and the media. You know, their goal is not to open your mind and get you to think. Their goal is to spoon feed you your opinions and distract you from the facts. That's what the mainstream news media wants to do. They want to make it as convenient as possible for you to not have to think. I've also been working on this um, kind of chill Sesame Street slash Chitty Chitty Bang Bang track. I used the guitar from Native Instruments. I used the um, una corda piano from Native Instruments and one of the bass things as well. And then I'm, I'm trying to find places to put vocals and it's coming together quite nicely. I'm very lucky to have the expertise of my good friend uh, Beverly Ward again because she's working on the album art for my next album which should hopefully be coming out in a few weeks time. Uh, I don't have a title for it yet but she's, uh, I'd say she's about halfway through the album artwork and it's looking really really sexy. I should give you guys the Discord link actually because um, we have a Pogo Discord and she uh, sends her works in progress uh, on the odd occasion. My mission to gain weight continues, guys. I'm up from 66, 67 kilos this time last year to 85. And it's just a question of gymming three or four times a week and trying to get about two to 3,000 calories of food in me every day. Peanut butter, banana, oats, 1,200 calorie gainer, bit of extra protein, and I'll put uh, two cups of extra creamy milk. That's about 180 calories uh, for that milk. It's worth seeing the results. It's a very long road, but I feel a lot better about myself now. I really do. I started remaking a really old track from like 2006 or something called Cry Face. Uh, the piano sample I used is very noisy, it's not very clear. So what I've done is I've actually remade the chords using one of my piano libraries, superimposed that over the top, and I've also given the track a bass line. Uh, and I think it's sounding a lot better now. Another beautiful day in South Perth. I think I might go for a walk actually, get some footage. I'm going to sign out, folks. Thanks very much for tuning in, as always. Hope you've enjoyed the tunes, and uh, I'll see you guys here on the Nick Mix channel again in the near future.